amazingly well. It went so much better than I expected. And the good news is it doesn't, doesn't have to work. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carnage, just pieces strewn about here, and I've already taken some of it over to my little scrap metal pile. Heater blowers. I just wanted to get a shot of this carnage before I get around to cleaning it up. This could be a new self-driving bus, you don't need a steering wheel. I kind of just stuff the wires down there, and yeah, they should totally fit underneath that. That'll be nice. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just put a shelf right across the top, and then build down from that. Hello, and welcome to, um, well, Carlin's Worlds. Yeah, that should work. I'm a wanderer, a tinkerer, sometimes a nomad, a military veteran. I do things differently. There will be tinkering. I have a motorcycle, a truck, and a school bus. I live off-grid, so there will be some solar, batteries, inverters, and maybe even some wind. It blows. And that's all I can fit into about 30 seconds. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Cool, on with the show already. So once I get this out of the way, then I can take what's left of the wires and pull them that way. I think all the wires go this way. ECM has got to be up in here somewhere. Engine control M module, I guess. All right, let me move you. Oh, my, what am I looking at here? Yep. This was way in the beginning. I was trying to come up with a face for my robot. So I figured, okay, I found these on eBay. I bought a few. And then she's going to have some kind of ears. I stuck those on. I actually 3D printed those. All right, put her out of the way. I don't know if robots have male and female tendencies, but it seems weird to call it it all the time. Now, yeah. since I have not taken this one apart before, I'm going to start with the obvious stuff and just start taking everything apart. Some of these I am going to put back just so I don't lose them. I don't think I'd ever put it back together, but all the habits die hard, it's just hard to not put it back together because things like the steering wheel are mounted pretty well, I may be able to use that bracket for something else. I don't know that I will, but it would be a convenient thing. It's right there, so. Yep. Seven. Okay. Another one of those adapters you can use on your impact driver. sub-panel that's got nothing on it except for, yeah, how funny is that, this whole thing has got, oh this has got lights in it, I just can't see them because they're turned off.
had money, I bought a lot of tools. It's kind of nice now. So I've got one for my screwdriver, and then the other one for taking out whatever. Bonus points if you can get it apart without breaking the connectors. $50 switch. Got a dimmer, headlight, park light, and this has got a bunch of indicator lights in it and a bunch of bulbs. So this might come in useful for a spaceship and just have a little panel with some, you know, warning lights. Danger! Stuff happening. Any chance I can recycle some of this, I will totally do it. kind of thing is a fun hobby but it, it's hard to make a living as a mechanic anymore because you have to be so fast I didn't hear it end sorry for for that two people that are still watching there's your answer my console and how do you crack this nut to get into it so I got a connector in here I just can't see how to get to it It is a possibility that you could put voltage on here and with uh, like something like an Arduino you could actually drive this. So you might put that somewhere and have it do different things. Because it's an electronic speedometer even, it doesn't even have the cable going to it. Not too burnt, looks okay. So you could just push pins onto all of these and then get them all to go. Kind of fun. And then this part, now that we got it disconnected, oh, there's something I couldn't see. Keep this with that other piece, and then if I ever wanted to use it again, I could put it up. This 
is actually better made than the trucks I used to work on. This is metal. He had a plastic part on ours. Cool. It's interesting to see how these are made. You just look at it, it's like, okay, you can make that box and then, you know, little spring clips here on the, these are what's the same thing as uh, fender clips, how your um, fenders are attached. They have a clip like that. Twenty years of dust. Dick. Okay. Now we're having some fun, huh? So my last part now, really, this piece and this piece all the way across is just for the defroster. So my goal is to get this down to as far down as I can, and then I can build my how I want to build my console. I think I'm at a pretty good, pretty good point here. So I'm just going to kind of work a little bit more, pull the wires down, and then I'll kind of step back. I'm going to fill the holes. Yeah, we're not, not looking too bad. This is going way better than I expected. said I was not going to do this side, but it's kind of a thing once you're doing it. This way I can put all the parts in the same place. Oh wow, there's a wiper motor for each side. I thought they were together. Bonus! access to your shift or your wiper linkage. That's wonderful. taking the time to do this is by taking that off now I've got a nice flat surface here you know it's it was like it was sticking up three inches I don't need that hey look another bus pass cafeteria worker graduating class of 2017 I guess the third one of those have <laughs> yeah that's this is good now I've got a nice flat. This is a really strong piece. I could bolt a piece right onto that. That'd be sad. I mean, I'm going to probably have a place to put the monitors, bolt them down, then a lower shelf for the keyboards and stuff like that. I'm looking at this box right now. Oh, there's a whole bunch of pencils in there. <laughs> Since we're here, this it's like yeah these individual pieces aren't worth much and they aren't doing me anything where they are now but I may be able to repurpose them somewhere so there's a nice little vent cover that would look great in a spaceship right yeah I can definitely use that for 
or something. A dime. I think we're up to a dollar for the day. We're making money here. Fire extinguisher holder with no fire extinguisher. Yeah, it's a pretty sad looking pencil. Except for that one, it's got a smiley face on it. Alright, the last piece then is this piece here that covers up the fuse panel. Wow, 15 inch ruler. Everything in Texas is bigger. I don't know where the hell you'd get one of those. Another pencil. off the door control to do it. That's important because I don't want to mess with the door right now. <laughs> ECM engine control and engine control module. That's the one to look out for for later if we ever wanted to make this thing work again. I traced it out earlier, this purple wire I'm pulling is the one that goes down to the windshield washer pump. I just happened to see it. So they must have had a problem with it and we ran a new wire. It's completely outside of the loom. I think all of this stuff I'm going to leave in place. And then the wires that go that way, I'm just going to pull them back into here and zip tie them. That way they're out of the way. And if I ever decide to do something with it, the wires are all together for, for basically running the vehicle. For my later go-kart project or something. It's kind of like doing a remodel right? This is what the old guys left us, and we don't want it. I'll pick up all the screws later. Air brake valve. Okay, linkage for the transmission. And air hose. Correct reading gauge. Seem pretty silly to leave those in place. It wouldn't bother me too much. It'd just be kind of a. That might be a funny thing just to leave in there. <laughs> Did learn something. It's odd that you can disconnect a, a brake fitting with no tools, huh? Air fitting, I should say. Push down the collar and things just pops right out. If nothing else, this should pretty much guarantee that I'll never be asked to work on somebody's vehicle. gauge, hazard lights, as far 
far as I can see, these little brackets sticking out are actually welded on. So they're probably going to stay. However, what I'm looking at, if I can tidy this up a little bit, I'll make my own piece across here. And use that as an attach point. It's nice and strong. I'm not going to finish it anyway, so. With this handsome looking piece of loom here. mystery box. <laughs> that always makes you wonder. No labels on it at all. Just a little yellow label with a part number. But usually you'd say, you know, something. I don't know what I would say. Pyrotechnics, beware. Something useful, you know. thinking here I want this out of my way so I can do my own wiring plus once it's out of here I can well I'm not gonna say clean it but I might knock the dust out a little bit one time pretty much the extent of it now. I'm looking at the gas pedal is actually pretty easy to get out of here. The 
brake pedal wouldn't be too hard actually either. Just the pedal. Leave the linkage in place and just take the pedal out. Alright, that'll be good for now. This guy, I think I'll leave for now too. I can work with that. Oh wow. If I decide to, the next time I mess with this, I'll take out the, the rest of this. But. So I'm thinking I've got that hole right there. I should be able to push this bundle down right into there, and hook it behind this gusset here, and then zip tie the whole bundle flat out of the way. Then I've got these brackets here, 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 all the way across. So I can take a nice flat piece all the way across to make kind of a console that I could then put some switches on or whatever. So I'd be sitting here. My monitors will mount to this piece that goes all the way across. Um, I've got this still for the steering wheel mount. I may leave that. It, this actually would come off it looks like though, this whole piece. Um, this piece and matching on that side. I can just take a little, I don't know, maybe take some metal and form it, have it come down. And what I'm looking at, that is, I think, spot welded into place or riveted. I could still get that up, but I think I'll leave it. It doesn't bother me too much. It gives me a lot of room though. I'm gonna clean up those two holes there and the hole down here where you can see the daylight, keep the rats from moving in. And we're basically set. From there, I like the idea of making a drawing station on this side, because I could put a table right here, and I'd be able to just sit here and draw. Set this chair up to rotate. That bundle is the one that goes to the back. I can hook up a hook into those wires if I pull this piece off here, that's where the wires go and that goes up into here then. From here it goes back. You can see it right there. Right in there. That's where the seatbelt used to be. Later, when I take the shelf down, I'll take this access panel all the way off. Like I showed that in the back earlier. And then I can pull my own wires through there wherever I want. A little more tidying up here. I'll take the fan off. I like the fans, but they pull way, way too much power to run off grid. The amount of power that pulls just would kill your batteries. Um, just not worth it. Leftovers from probably the two-way radio and the video system that they had. Oh, that's the red and red and black here is probably this one. So I'll, I'll pull all those out. That's an antenna lead, camera feeds monitors and so on yeah gutted <laughs> wow okay take a little break and then I'll clean all this up and then tidy it up and close up my panels amazingly well it went so much better than I expected and the good news is it doesn't, it doesn't have to work <laughs> Carnage, just pieces strewn about here, and I've already taken some of it over to my little scrap metal pile. Heater blowers, wow, yeah, it's a good thing I got so much room out here. I just wanted to get a shot of this carnage before I get around to cleaning it up. This could be a new self-driving bus. You don't need a steering wheel. I kind of just stuffed the wires down there, and yeah, they should totally fit underneath that. That'll be nice. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just put a shelf right across the top and then build down from that. Should be fine. Looks much better. Cool.
Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, that should work. Cool. I do things differently. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Thank you so much for watching.